Okay, so today we're going to make a walker, and this walker is uh, the walker from uh, Daniel Schiffman's Nature of Code. Uh, he wrote it for processing, but uh, we're going to use Python, and it's the walker out of the introduction, and it's really the first thing that he shows, so it's introduction point one. And so basically what it does is we're going to have... Um, uh, make a class where an object takes a step in a random direction and adds a point and takes a step and adds another point and so it travels around randomly and the main uh, let's just get our Python script open there's going to be three main things that, that this uh, short video will, will kind of introduce you to. Randomness, uh, we're going to make a class, and because uh, he uses processing, which uh, has a time component built in, uh, we're going to need to build some kind of structure for, uh, for uh, so we can approximate time and have time be a, uh, a part of, of our script. Uh, so what we do with um, starting any Python script is we're going to import uh, RhinoScript syntax. Oops. As RS. Um, as far as the randomness goes, we're going to import uh, random as R and we're going to give it a seed and the name of that seed is going to be seed so uh, it's important when you look at this this is the function name and this is the function variable and so we're going to need a function variable uh, to, to feed it and so we're going to do that inside of grasshopper. We're going to call this a seed and we're going to uh, give it a type hint of integer and you know just give it some we're gonna make a slider that way we can slide across and uh, you know, feed it different seeds so we can look at the randomness, how the randomness, you know, different variations of the same randomness. And uh, we're also going to make a time component. We might as well just do that right now. And we're going to also have it be an integer. And so it will be, um, we're going to, it's going to be, so we'll slide it across and that will uh, give us uh, some, you know, some way to, to, to have time be a part of uh, our script and also that way we can you know go backwards in time or forwards and uh, see what it looks like so we have the randomness um, I'll talk about the time later and to we're gonna make a class and to do that in uh, Python we have a class and then we give it a name so it's kind of a variable type and uh, it's not exactly the constructor but it's kind of a the Python's uh, constructor is init and uh, we feed it self and that's just something you're gonna have to get used to is the this format of uh, you need to uh, it's kind of what does def init refer to, or what you know? What does it perform actions on? Walker, it's itself, and so also when we want variables, we do self dot variable name. So if we want a variable called x, self dot x, and uh, inside this init, we're going to initialize it, and we're going to give we're going to have two variables, an x and a y condition, or y we're going to initialize it at zero so it's going to start at zero and then we're going to perform an action on it and it's going to change that that variable over time 
And so we're going to have two, uh, two function calls. We want one to display it and one to make a step. So let's display it first. Uh, and we're going to also, we always have to, whenever you make a function inside of uh, a class, you need to say self. And for ours, display, we're going to have some shell, shape. We're going to go rs add point. And so what this does is it adds a point at our location. You can see that here you have uh, a really nice little help out. So uh, add a point. Uh, So we just uh, give it a point, and so a point is a list of three variables, and we're going to go x, y, oh, we're going to go self.x, self.x, self.y, and 0, and uh, actually, we don't need to do this. We just need these three things. So that gives us just a shape, and we're going to return that shape. So later, when we call this, we're going to get a shape returned to us. Okay, and then we're going to take a step and pass in self again, refer to the self and we're going to call it choice and now we're going to use the the random we we imported random as r we gave that r a seed and now we're going to um, use that r to make a random int and we're going to go 0 to 3 and so what this returns is 0, 1, 2, or 3. And it does it uniformly, which means that it's kind of just a perfect die. So a quarter of the time, 0 will come up. A quarter of the time, 1 will come up. 25% of the time, 2 will come up. And 25% three of the time, 3 will come up. And so this this just refers to we're going to give it a choice between taking a step north uh, south east or west and so we have four choices and so if the choice is equal to zero we're going to go take one step in the x direction. So we're going to sell, say self.x equals self.x plus 1 and elif which is short for else if choice equals 1 we're going to take a step in this direction so self dot x minus one and so what this doing is doing right here is uh, performing an action on this class variable so it was zero up here if this comes up one uh, we're going to change this and we're going to change it to uh, if it's 0 it's going to be 0 minus 1 so it'll be minus 1 and then next time it comes through it'll be something and it'll change it again so that takes care of uh, east and west and so we need to change it in the north and south direction 
and else if um, self dot y equals self dot y plus one and I'm going to copy this and else so if it's nothing it's not one or two or three or if it's not zero one or two it's going to be three and we're going to go south instead so we've got display and step and now let's consider time um, we're, for time we're going to use a for loop and we're going to say for t in range time and uh, to show you how this works I'm just going to print t really quick and yeah so we have uh, 54 time okay so for t in range time print t we've got one two three four if I change this down to four we've just got zero one two and three and if it's zero it doesn't do anything so this just we're inside this loop is you know each frame or each second is kind of similar to the draw loop in processing and so um, before we get into this we are going to need to create a walker and we're going to call it W and so this gives us an instance of the class above. Also we need uh, some way to keep track of this and so I just say p list for point list and have, uh, have it zero and then point list dot append equals or er, not equals but we're gonna pass in whatever we want to this list and then at the very end we're going to pass out uh, the P list so this is the format that I use uh, I think it's uh, works really really nice for for what uh, what we're doing is always put in a for loop and then the P list blank P list add items to the P list pass out the plist. Um, so what do we want to do in here? For each point in time, uh, for t in range time, we want to have the walker take a step. So what this does is calls this method up here so the way we do it is okay this is the uh, per particular instance of this recipe so we take that per uh, that particular instance and we call a method on it Oops. and the method changes the x and y coordinates according to some random you know some randomness and then we're going to append w dot shape and so w dot shape is our particular instance and oh we use display up here so so display gives us a point and well, I'm just going to rename this uh, point or location 
Uh, no point. So our function point gives us a point at its location, at this w's location, and then we append it to the list. And so here if we want to um, take a look at what's inside the list, we're going to print, uh, just do a quick print of point list and see what see what happens. Okay, so we have a system GUID object at, you know, this location. We have another one here, another one. Uh, so it looks like we have about seven points. Let's make this shorter. So yeah, so we, I assume that this is a point at this location and, you know, for each point in time we're getting another point. So it looks like it's working okay. So, yeah, so we have points there. Uh, we're going to take a look at the, what's what we're passing out. Yeah, so we're passing out points and So you can see it's kind of going in a it's growing randomly. We have 66 there. So here's 100, and so we're getting points, and we can do wrong interpolation, interpolate points. So we can get a line out of it. So this is kind of the the basic setup that we'll be using in later. Uh, to make more complicated walkers where the randomness we can do whatever we want to with it and but this gives us the basic framework for classes and uh, a way to uh, deal with time and seed so let's just throw in let's throw in 2000 and see if it handles it yeah it computes this one really, I guess, pretty quickly. And so this is uh, what this looks like after it's taken 2,000 random steps according to seed 3. So if we want to look at different seeds, we just uh, change the seed and we get different randomness. So And we can see, change how it grows, or we can look at it. Um, as it grows. And so this one's kind of just the basic bread and butter and we'll do more complicated um, walkers in the future.